Hi, my name is Brian Bruckmoser and I'm a Systems Engineer for Belden's Enterprise Division. In this video today, we'll walk through the steps of terminating a KeyConnect Category 6 Plus jack. Jacks provide access to the network so they must be reliable, perform well, and remain durable. Modular jacks should be fast and easy to install. This craft-friendly jack will give you a consistent, high-performing result every time. Before we go through the termination steps, I want to quickly highlight some benefits of the Category 6 Plus jack that may be important to you. First, the jack we are about to terminate does not have a soldered rigid circuit board. Solder points are a potential point of failure. Belden's lead frame technology gives you a continuous metal path from the front of the jack to the back of the jack, and it is over molded in polymer. This provides a robust jack with very stable uniform performance. Another unique feature of this Key Connect jack is the termination or T-bar. This installation aid controls the position of the pairs before termination and drastically reduces variability between installers. The Category 6 Key Connect jack exceeds all parameters in the TI standard and comes in 19 different colors. In order to maximize the value and capitalize on all of the benefits of the jack, it must be terminated properly. So let's go through those steps now. The first step is going to be taking off about two inches of the jacket. One time around with the tools should be fine. Break the jacket. Second, what you would like to do is use the rip cord and tear down a little bit further on the jacket. You want to do that because you've just run a very sharp razor blade around the conductors and you may have nicked one of them. Trim off the rip cord, clean up the jacket. Then you'd like to put the wires in the proper order. There's a 568A and a B inside of the jack. We use B for today's purposes. So with B we're going to do blue, brown, orange, and green. You'll want to fan those out in the proper order and then cut them at a 45 degree angle. That will make it much easier for you to put these wires inside of the channels of the T-bar or termination bar. You'll also note that there's a teeth on one side of the T-bar and a flat surface on one side of the termination bar. The spikes or teeth should go towards the jacket so that you can snap this into the jack later on in the termination process. If properly spaced, slides right onto the termination bar. You'll notice on the termination bar that there are slots. On one side there's a slot, the other side there is not a slot. Just fold each wire alternating towards the slot. So in this case, you should have the green brown on one side and the orange blue on the other side. Once you get to this point, it's very simple. You just line up the blue and blue-white pair on the proper position on the jack, where it says 568B, and snap it into the jack. You'll definitely hear it snap into the jack. From this point, it's just a matter of making sure that the blue, the solid, and the stripes are lined up properly. So in this case, the solid conductor blue goes first, goes to the outside, so it'll go solid, stripe, solid, stripe. I'm just using the spike here in the center there to split the pairs so we're maintaining those twists. 
very close to the end of the IDC. Once I have them partially seated into the connector, I'm going to take the termination station. You'll notice there's two different openings for the termination station. We're going to use the one that says Keystone because this is a Keystone style jack. Inside of here, you can see that it, there is a picture and it shows the orientation of the clip. So slide that in there, move it to the outside of the termination station so it locks in. Once it locks in, it provides a very stable surface for you to use the Belden 110 insertion tool. This is an insertion tool with scissors and not an impact tool, so it's a much gentler uh, termination on the jack and on your hands. At this point, you could just start inserting these. It helps to pull these out a little horizontally so it makes contact with the scissors. But as you're doing this, you can almost feel that conductor being inserted into the IDCs. All you do is take the jack, move it back towards the center of the termination station, and it comes right out. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a very clean cut on the outside of the conductors and that they're all fully seated inside of there. That is a very good termination. For an even faster termination, you can try Belden's new rapid termination tool. The steps to preparing the jack are exactly the same right up to the point where you insert it into the termination station. So you'd have it prepared exactly this way. Take the termination tool, slide this lever so that it opens up. Again, there's a diagram of how the jack orients itself into the tool. There's the latching device, here's the latching device. Put it into the tool like this. There are two small points that should be made about this. First of all, you should be very sure that the conductors are seated a little bit in the IDCs already. Then you're going to pull on the cable just a little bit just to make sure it's lined up properly. And then it's as simple as closing this up. Cuts off the wires as you can see, comes back out, and again, seats the conductors perfectly inside of the IDCs and cuts off the wires for you. Those are the termination steps to properly terminate a Category 6 Key Connect Belden Jack. Call 1-800-BELDEN-1 or contact your Belden sales representative. Thank you for choosing Belden.